My hearing loss occurred when I was born. Um, I was actually born without any ears. I started with a hearing aid. Um, it was actually a headband connected to a little device that you would clip on your shirt. You actually had to talk directly into the speaker for me to hear. My parents, of course, they wanted what was going to be best for me, so there was this new um, uh, technology that they were going to, that they were trying to launch, so they wanted to try it on me. My name is Anders Kjellström, and I'm from Göteborg, Sweden. In November 1983, uh, we performed the surgery on this, at the time, eight-year-old girl. She was a really ideal case with a normal in the rear function, but no ear canals. I mean, I didn't really understand at eight years old what, what I was going to be going through. I was going to require some type of, you know, surgery or what have you. The surgery is, is very simple, uh, both for the surgeon and for the, for the, the, for the patient. When I got it um, and experienced it for the first time, I was like, wow, this is what hearing's about. I started playing the violin from fourth grade all the way to my senior year. I played sports, I played uh, vo volleyball um, in middle school and high school, ran track. Yeah, I did all the, the normal things that, you know, typically kids want to do. And the Baja didn't stop me from doing that. I think it actually helped me to take those risks and take those opportunities. It's pretty awesome today that I'm sitting here with Dr. Telstrom. Now as an adult, now I understand the magnitude of everything because of you know, the Baja, them taking the, the chance on me, being able to get that experience, um, those opportunities that, that were, that I was able to, to do throughout my lifetime. You know, it's amazing, it's been 30 years. To help uh, people hard of hearing like this, and uh, the, the reward is very great from your heart, and you feel that. If you're considering doing the Baja, or getting the Baja, um, I definitely would urge you to do it. I put it this way, if you're getting the opportunity to be able to hear, why not? If anything, is going to encourage them to want to do those things and take those opportunities and take those risks. Because I lived it and I'm continuing to live with it. The patient is really the center of what we are doing. And, and so I'm very happy that it's been successful and we have enjoyed it. Thank you.